Welcome back to Uncreated Crowd. So this week, we have the Golchi. I think that's how you say it, Golchi? The Golchi, originally funded on Kickstarter, it is the world's first modular design bottle. So what they mean by modular is that this bottle right here can transform to one bottle, or two bottles, and it also has a little compartment for food. So you could have two separate drinks and food all in this one bottle. Or you could just have one large drink. So let's pop this open and pull it out. Boop, boop, beep. What, what is this? I know, we'll get to that. Uh, -da. I don't even know what's up and what's down. I think this little box might be the food compartment. Oh yeah, the little food tray. Woohoo! Oh wait, no, that's the bottom cap. Never mind. Obviously with something modular, there's many parts, this extra piece included, but I don't see any instructions on what goes where and how to put it together, so I'm assuming it must be pretty straightforward. So as you can see, this is just like a straight black bottle. So in this cityscape, there are major uh, towers, bridges, whatever, from across the world. Okay, first things first, we have a little handle here. Very nice. So one of the first things I notice here is there is this little slider. Um, you slide it one way and you have blue, you slide it the other way. Oh goodness, slide. That's kind of hard to slide, but you slide it the other way and you have red. So by sliding this either to the red or to the blue, you're able to tell uh, what the temperature is in this module. Obviously, you have to slide it so it's not just gonna automatically be smart and tell you, hey, this is cold or hey, this is hot, but you know, use some common sense. If you're putting hot stuff in it, turn it to hot and then you'll know, hey, I put something hot on that side. And then on the other side, you have the same thing. And this one slides like way easier. Had a little bit of difficulty in manufacturing on this side. It's got a little bit of rough edges here. So if you're using this for cold beverages, it will keep it cold for 24 hours. For the hot stuff, it is 12 hours. So I mean, obviously, oh my goodness, this is a little bit dirty. Like this been sitting in a warehouse or something for a while. But enough of that, let's break this apart and see how it works. Oh hey, look, I found some uh, caution and use guidelines. There are instructions, maybe. Okay, that's basically just seems like a lot of stuff covering their own butts uh, to make sure you don't try and sue them for something stupid that you do. So starting with this very first component, we have the lid again. Like I mentioned, you got the slider there. So basically just pop this up, lift it, bam. Oh man, that's like super heavy duty. So they have these magnets here, I don't think they're actually magnets. I think it's just little metal pieces that were originally meant to be magnets, but I feel no extra, I mean, that noise you hear is me pressing it, but it's not, it doesn't have any pull. And then here's what I would call a flow restrictor. Obviously, you can have it fully open, drink water, you know, get that nice quick flow, or you could close the restrictor. Uh, maybe you're drinking coffee or something hot, and you need it to be coming a little bit slower so you don't like totally burn yourself. That's it for that top, we'll set that aside. So this one looks to be the larger module, and that is gonna be 13 ounces. Uh, so, you know, decent size. So let's set that aside, let's break off this center component. So this is the food compartment. So all we gotta do is twist that open, and bam, out comes this little container here. Three and a quarter ounces, I believe, is what they said this size is. I mean, it is kind of small, but it, you're putting it in your water bottle, essentially. So here's the different components so far, and then we've got this last piece. Ooh, maybe this is the 13 ounce. And then you've got the top or bottom, however you want to look at it. Now the real question, how well does it hold the beverages? Does it leak? anything like that. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together exactly how it was uh, when I before I took it apart. And we are going to fill this up and see how it holds up. And then from there, I will go ahead and break it down into the different modules um, so we can see how it works all together. So first off, let's fill the food compartment with some Cheerios. See how many Cheerios we can fit in here. We will pop it in, lock it in, and drop it in. Let's do cold water with ice in this part. Oh dang, go, go ice, go. There we go, and then we'll screw on this top. Now that that's in, we've got no spillage here. We will lock in this other side with some steaming hot water. Oh my goodness. Can you see the steam coming off of this? Ow, ow, this actually hurts. We will pour the hot water 
in on this side. Oh man, too bad I don't have tea bags. Otherwise I could totally put some tea in here. So as it stands right now, I have ice cold water on this side, hot water, steamy like boiling hot water on this side, and uh, some Cheerios to snack on in the middle. Or you could do like yogurt in one side, throw in some granola, have some yogurt on the go. I mean, the uses of this are endless. Take a drink of my ice cold. So one of the things I just noticed uh, immediately as I touched the top, you can see on here, there's this inner circle and this outer circle. This inner circle is cold to the touch. So I don't think this part right here is insulated at all. You're gonna have cold or heat escaping out of here. Flip it over to this side. You can definitely tell that there's warm water in here. Oh yeah. Yep, that's still hot. One thing to keep in mind is that the flow restrictor has to be totally open in order for this to close. One of the things, just looking at, oh goodness, I got water spilling. See if we can replicate this spillage. Oh, yep, it's just dripping right out. This bottle is uh, quickly turning into a fail. It's like it isn't sealing all the way, why though? Now the instruction said do not shake or hold upside down. But I mean, how can you not hold it upside down? Whichever way you hold it, one of the bottles is upside down. So you can't have that. Okay. Hmm, now it's not spilling. All I know is that I just had a hot water spill on me. If it was any hotter than it was, I could have very easily been burned by it. Possible it was user error, but I can't say that for sure. That's definitely not a good thing. It seems that it can't really hold up to shaking, but the idea is really neat. I mean, look at this. I just simply unscrewed this part of the bottle off and put on this bottom. Bam, I've got a little cup to go. Coming down here, of course, we've got our cereal. Here's an issue that I just thought of or was noticing as I was putting this together. If I were to unscrew this at all, water would just pour out because this this top bottle isn't sealed, it's basically just sealed onto this other one, which is necessary to be able to connect the two bottles to make one large uh, water bottle. Even though we're finding these issues just for the sake of enjoying the product <laughs> as it was designed, let's continue putting these different pieces together. Screw this together. Now you've got one larger bottle. So unless uh, you start having issues of it leaking because the seal is not a very good seal. I really had high hopes for this product. <laughs> As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, see the seal just keeps popping out every time I try to screw it on. So it took a few tries, but it looks like I did get that seal to actually take this time. You know, I had to hassle with it, which is not the most user friendly uh, way to go about it. So I am a little disappointed in that, but I mean, again, the idea, the concept behind this is great, and I think it can be an exceptional product. However, this first run that they did, uh, I think there were definitely a few design flaws with it that need to be addressed in future versions that certainly can be addressed. However, unfortunately, at this point, I just don't think it's quite there yet. So yeah, at this point, I'm not even gonna break it down anymore. Um, as we've seen, I can't recommend this product as it stands right now. I truly hope that Golgi does continue to uh, improve its design and make it the most user-friendly it possibly can be. <sighs> Golgi, you let me down. I was so excited for you. So I wasn't able to find the actual retail price uh, to be able to purchase this right now. Uh, not that I would recommend it at this point, but according to the Kickstarter campaign, the estimated retail price of the Golchi modular design water bottle is gonna be $49. Until they improve the design of this product and go into like a version two, version three, what have you, it, it's just not there. You, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend $49 on this. And yet I pretty much did, but regardless, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you're new and want to continue to see crowdfunded items come to life, whether they're not the greatest or they are the greatest. I don't know. You'll have to continue to watch to find out what the best ones are and which ones flop. So with that, we will see you guys next week. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll be a good one, maybe it'll be a flop. You'll have to wait and see.